Hi, I'm Lisa Wallen with Directional Learning, and today I'm going to teach you how many days are in each month by just making visual spatial pictures. And remember, it's all about the eggs. You can tell that I have a visual spatial picture of the way our seasons work and the way our year works, and I have the months that correspond to the season, and I have their numbers corresponding to the month. All right, we're going to make some visual pictures. All you have to remember is the pictures. For January, I think of Jan, the name Jan, so I bring a picture of Jan out. And then for February, I think of leap year, so I think frogs can leap. And they can leap either 28 or 29 days in February. And then we move on to spring. Well, I say we march into spring. So I bring a picture of a marching band. And April, we can have April showers. And then I think of the Easter Bunny delivering eggs. And remember, eggs are going to be important. So remember the months that have eggs. And then we have April showers brings May flowers. And then for June, I think of Chef June. There she is, she can take an egg, break it, cook it on the sidewalk because the month of June is so hot. And then June, Chef June likes to watch fireworks in July. And then August is the last month of summer, so it's the end of summer. And then we move into fall, and then September, we have to go back to school. So your mom, dad packs you a lunch, you get a boiled egg for lunch. And then October, I think of trick-or-treating, and then November, I think of the bird, the turkey, and turkeys can lay eggs. And then remember, I said eggs are important. And then December, I think of a Christmas tree. We just learned that all you have to do is make visual spatial pictures to learn the sequence of the months. And I told you that the eggs would be super important. So let's look at an egg. Okay, don't you think that the egg looks like the zero? I think so. So any month that contains an egg will have 30 days in it. And then let's look at February. February, we said, has 28 or 29 days. Feb the frog can leap every four years. And we get an extra day. Just count his legs. He has four legs, so every four years, he can leap to 29 days in the month. And then if it's not a leap year, then it will stay at 28 days. So you just learned that February has 28 or 29 days. Now everybody else that doesn't contain an egg or Feb the frog, then they all have 31 days. Pretty easy to remember. That's all you have to remember. It's all about the eggs in the visual pictures. All right. Thank you for listening to Directional Learning, and I can't wait to teach you more.